Hello, hello, hello. I'm back here. I've been on holiday. I don't know what you've been doing, but I've been to Romania and I had a very good time with my friends and my relatives and I've been to the Black Sea seaside. Uh, but now I am here ready to start Limba Romune Pasco Pasco Laura. So welcome to Romanian language step by step with Laura Bun Benit. Binaț venit la limba română Pascu Pascu Laura, lesson 5. Speaking of Romania, I've got other interesting um, things to share about uh, my country. For instance, did you know that the smallest banknote ever was actually printed in Romania? Uh, you can check if you want to, but this has happened apparently. This happened apparently in 1917, after the uh, First World War, and it happened because of the shortage of metals. And it was a 10 uh, ban or zece ban banknote, and this it has got Ferdinand's. Um, um, face on it. Um, Ferdinand I um, was the king of Romania between uh, 1914 and 1917. Um, speaking of Romania, you know I, I'm in love with some cities in Romania and one of them is Brasov. I think I talked about Sigishwara once. Um, now Brasov, Brasov is a beautiful city in itself. I highly recommend you to go and visit it. Um, now if you go and visit it, I also recommend you to visit Biserica Nagra or um, the Black Church, which is apparently the, the third um, in size, the third Gothic um, church in size in Europe and actually the first um, Gothic cathedral between Vienna and Istanbul. It's got 90 meters, it is like 90 meters uh, long and 21 meters high. And a little bit of history, namely history of inventions. And most historians agree that Henrik Wanda, who is an aerodynamics um, pioneer, was the one who built the first um, jet-powered aircraft and this happened in 1910 and it was called the Quanda. Good, now let's do some language. Um, today we're going to learn consonants H, J, K and groups J, G. I'm not going to revise the previous sounds. If you feel like you're not very confident with them, go back to my previous four videos. So, H. Uh, H in hotel, which is hotel, harta, which is map, high, which is come on. H. Pronounced the same as in the English H in house or behind. They are very similar, I think. Now, the next one, J, I'd like you to pay attention to this one because it is uh, different from the English J. It's not J, it's J. J in joc, which is game, ajutor, which is. Um, Help, camouflage, which is the same camouflage, yeah? Pronounced as the English S, but in pleasure or leisure, all right? Um, the last one is K, and I think I've already told that this is not a typically Romanian letter. It is pronounced just as the English um, K in kitty, uh, so it's pronounced K, yeah? In kilogram, which is kilogram or kilometro, kilometer. Yeah, very few words have it, have this. Um, and finally, the diagraphs, J, G, yeah, J, made of G, E, G, E, J. Merget, which means you, several persons are walking, or minge, yeah, ball, and it is pronounced sort of like the, um, the J in the English general, all right? Um, okay, now G, G, E, G. G in merge, you, one person, are walking, or genere, um, genere means son-in-law, sort of the same as the English G in giant, all right? So these are the few sounds that we are learning today, H, J, K, or K, uh, J, and G. Okay, now let's do some vocabulary. Now last time I think we learned how to say excuse me both formally, do you remember formally? It is scusati ma, yeah? And informally scusa ma. Okay, good. So um, we also learned how to say please. How do we say please? We say 
if we are formal, we say vorog. Okay, and also actually, if we address to several persons, yeah. So if I'm, I'm addressing to you as an audience, I would say vorog. And if I'm addressing to one person and informally, for instance, to a child or to a friend, I would say terog. Yeah, this is what we've already uh, known. Now, of course, we can put these two together, excuse me and please, and we can say a longer phrase, excuse me, please, yeah, as a means of, um, I don't know, maybe introduction, introduc introducing, sorry, a, um, a request, maybe. So I would, um, I may uh, want to address an audience who are, you know, people who are talking, um, and I need a little bit of science by saying, <coughs> Scusatima varog, excuse me, please, to several people and also formally. Scusatima varog, yeah, but also to one person if I am formal. Scusatima varog, yeah, but um, if I want to say it informally, I would say scusama terog. Scusama terog, okay, so. Um, these are the two ways, scusatima varog and scusama terog. Also, these two are ways of actually apologizing um, if, um, you know, it may happen sometimes to bump into somebody on the street and we may say scusatima varog or scusama terog. You know, if it's a child, or we may discover that somebody that we are friends with. Um, for instance, if on the bus, on the bus in Romania, which is quite um, often, which happens quite often, um, somebody may step on your shoe, yeah, and uh, somebody may say to you, Scusatima, Varog. Of course, the person is embarrassed, she, he or she um, is genuinely sorry, so you might want to reassure uh, him or her that you're okay, so you may say, Nu face nimic. Nu face nimic or nui nimic, okay? So this means that's okay, no worries, it's okay, and things like that, okay? Scusatima varog, nu face nimic, or nui nimic. Okay, um, good. Now I'd like to uh, also tell you uh, that in most cases, people in Romania address other people with whom they are not in uh, very close relationships by using um, in front of their names um, Mrs., uh, Miss or Mr. Yeah. Um, for instance, if I um, come to my mom in the block of flats where she lives, I would uh, greet uh, Mrs. Ionescu, that's a family name, yeah, by saying Buna ziua doamna Ionescu. Okay, but uh, Mrs. Ionescu might, might actually have known me since I was very little, so um, you know, we are a bit more familiar. So I, I actually uh, may say, Buna ziua, Duamna Maria. Okay, good afternoon, Miss Mary. Yeah, same way uh, for Miss. Okay, uh, for instance, I may say, Good morning, Miss um, Karaja. Yeah, uh, Buna dimineața, Domnișoara. Karaja. So, Domnișoara is Miss. Okay? Domnișoara, Miss. Doamna, Madam. Okay? Um, and the same with a gentleman. Um, for instance, Bună seara, Domnule Popescu. That's another family name. Good evening, Mr. Popescu. So, Mr. is Domnul. Okay? Um, or... If again that gentleman has known me for a long time or I have known him for a long time, I can say uh, Buna seara, domnule Ion. Good evening, Mr. John. Okay, sometimes um, just like uh, you know, the children in school address, um, at least in the UK, to their teacher by, by saying, Oh, Miss, Miss, I want to tell you something. So they don't say Miss Arnold, for instance, they just say Miss. Uh, we may address people just by saying uh, Madam or Miss or Sir, which is Duamna for Madam, Domnishwara for Miss, or Domnule for Sir. So we can greet somebody by saying, Buna seara, Duamna. Good evening, uh, madam. Or, ce mai faceți, domnișoară? How are you, miss? Or, you, you can actually thank somebody by saying, um, mulțumesc, domnule. Or, uh, scuzați-mă, 
domnule, I'm sorry. So, okay, so this is um, another interesting things, uh, thing about the way we are dressing people in Romanian. Now, um, asking somebody about their names, okay? It's not as uncommon as it is in um, in the UK. It's it's not that rude, considered it. But we can actually reduce the level of abruptness by saying excuse me first, and we know how to say excuse me, scusatima, in formal, uh, sorry, formally, yeah? And scusama informally. So notice I've used two colors because I've got two sort of halves of the questions. First of uh, the first half is meant to reduce the level of abruptness, yes? We can say scusatima formally, or nu vă supărați, I hope you don't mind, or excuse me, um, roughly translated. Okay, the, the, the second is cum vă numiți, cum vă numiți, um, literally, how are you named, yes? But we can translate it, what's your name, okay? So we can say scusatima, cum vă numiți. Scusatima, cum vă numiți? Okay, and also we can say nu vă supărați, which is the same with uh, excuse me with uh, scusatima, nu vă supărați. Care este numele dumneavoastră? Now, care este numele dumneavoastră? This bit means what is your name? Literally, formally. Okay, so. If we want to ask somebody um, on the train, for instance, although it's, it's not that common even in Romania, we can say care este numele noastră. Now, we, we can actually combine the first half of the first example of the question with the second um, half of the second question and the other way around. So we can say, scuzați-mă, care este numele dumneavoastră? And also, nu vă supărați, cum vă numiți. Yeah, so we've got actually several ways of combining it. You can choose whichever one you'd like and whichever comes handier or shorter if you'd like. Okay, now informally we can say scusama or nu te supera as a means of making it less abrupt. Yeah, so we can say scusama cum te numești. Cum te numești literally, what, uh, how are you named? Yeah, uh, but also what's your name? Or scusama informally again. Scusama uh, care este numele tău. Scusama cum te numești? Or scusama care este numele tău? Okay. Or nu te supera cum te numești? Nu te supera care este numele tău? Okay. Uh, and we can answer to that. Numele meu este Laura, for instance, okay? Numele meu este Laura. So, informally, we can say scuzați-mă or nu vă supărați cum vă numiți or scuzați-mă or nu vă supărați care este numele dumneavoastră. That seems longer, doesn't it? Yeah? And for, sorry, formally, yeah? And informally, we would say scuzați-mă cum te numești or scuzați-mă care este numele tău, yeah? And the reply, the typical reply would be numele meu este Laura, for instance. Now, I think that would be it for today. Yeah, we covered quite a lot. We did uh, H, J, K sounds and J, G. We did how uh, we connected two ways of addressing scusați mă vă rog, scuza mă te rog, but also replying to an apology, nu face nimic or nu nimic. We learned how to address people by introducing that um, by doamna, domnișoară or domnule. Okay, using family names or first names after that, and also asking uh, somebody about their names. Scuzați-mă cum vă numiți o care este uh, numele dumneavoastră o scuză-mă cum te numești, asking a child, for instance. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you practice until next time. And if you um, found this helpful, like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, see you next time. Um, la revedere. Pe curând. See you soon. Pa, pa. Bye, bye.